just recently, Secretary Clinton and I were in Southern Africa, South Africa, and I was also in Botswana and Namibia. Horrible problem, slaughter of uh, rhinos to get rhino horn. Uh, what is it used for? Used for a number of things, one of which is there's this f notion that is totally wrong that rhino horn, ground rhino horn, is a cure for cancer or other diseases. It is not. Uh, serious uh, doctors who are experts in cancer have certified there is no benefit to the use of rhino horn to treat disease at all. Some of these traditional Chinese medicines do work. Uh, rhino horn, tiger parts, elephant tusks, things of this sort are just killing of animals for no real reason. Some people use them as trophies or trinkets or gifts. It's a horrible gift. Uh, all it does is inflict enormous pain on these animals and causes a lot of them to be killed needlessly. And also, it's not just one or two poachers here and there, it's organized crime. Uh, other than drugs, it's the second biggest source of illegal trade in the world, uh, huge amounts, billions of dollars worth of this. So what we would like to do is work with countries of the region, first of all, to educate people in the region that rhino horn, tiger parts, and other things are not uh, good medicines. They're bad medicine, and they, people spend a lot of money that they could be spending on real medicine. Second, that this trade aids and abets organized crime. Third, that it kills beautiful, wonderful animals, and uh, that's a tragedy. Fourth, that it undermines countries because their animals, in a way, are their legacy. People come to villages and areas. Uh, I went to Etosha Park in Namibia. Now, we don't, they don't have poachers there, but they're worried that there could be South Africa. They're beautiful rhinos and elephants that are vulnerable and Cameroon, large numbers of elephants were killed. We're trying to educate people. This It's very bad to buy these things because it leads to the killing of animals to help countries to develop better law enforcement, better border provisions to prevent these from coming in, that when people are caught to impose stiff penalties on them, not just a slap on the wrist. Uh, those are the kind of things that are important. And also to help countries like South Africa where people shoot rhinos from helicopters or with you know, machine guns and things to help these countries themselves to deal with this scourge of poaching. So it's a very high priority for us. And uh, I think if you look at the countries of this region, it should be for them too. They've uh, signed on to international agreements. They don't really want to see these animals killed, but if they want to see this stop, they have to take much tougher action, legal action, to prevent people in their countries from buying these things and help the countries where the poaching is greatest to deal with the poaching.